Yo, Navatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you from the West Coast, the best coast. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, uh, getting a peel box online. Maybe it's for your motor vlogging channel and you decided, you know what, it's time for me to get a peel box and I'm thinking about getting one. So this is just an online portion of how to do this online. Now, there are some things that you're going to need before you even start filling out uh this 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 form or this uh, or uh, making a, a uh, making an account online you're gonna need two proofs of id all right you need a photo id and you need a non-photo id and so far for the non-photo id it is pretty much restricted to only a few options uh, you have your insurance policy uh not your health insurance but your vehicle insurance policy you have your your, your uh, lease agreement you have, uh, what else? I suffer from short-term memory loss. Oh yes, that's right, your vehicle registration. Like I said, these have to be current and up-to-date with whatever you're putting in in your um, in your account, or the, the one that you have to make. So you do have to make an account online. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. All right, so now we're on USPS.com. This is their managing PO boxes. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you guys could follow along. So uh, before we start uh, uh, reserving a PO box, we would have to register with USPS.com. So we would have to make an account and uh, you would just go right up here, register. And let's go ahead and do this, sign up. I already made an account, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, make uh, this. You would have to uh, make your username, pick your password, easy, 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 security options and whatnot. And then you would have to go to personal account as well. And everything that you fill in right here, this has to be up to date because this is the information that the PO box is going to use. All right. So you have to make sure all of this information is the same and it matches with all the, uh, all of those IDs that I was mentioning. Uh, all of that has to match up. All right, so make sure you fill this out properly because you might run into some issues once you go and, and verify uh, your, your ID and, and everything else. So all of this has to be up to date. Whatever you have on your photo ID or your, your lease, your vehicle registration, your insurance, your vehicle insurance policy, whatever one of those things that I've mentioned uh, before. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then you would verify the address and there's no like verify as in they're gonna send you a piece of mail or anything like that. It is just gonna pop up. Uh, is this the address that you went ahead and, and you put in on the on the enter your address and you're just gonna hit yes. And that's pretty much it. Your account has been made. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Cause like I said, I already made an account. Okay, so I went ahead and I signed in. Uh, we are now gonna reserve a PO box. All right, so now we're in the next screen. This is where you get to select what what station or what location do you want. Don't don't worry about the premium PO box services stuff. Don't worry about that. That's not, that doesn't mean it's going to cost you more. All right, so we're just going to be looking at this. And as you can see, we have quite a few different stations, like I mentioned, uh, and we also have the available boxes. So you have a size one through size four. If you're new at this, I would recommend a size one because they could always uh, uh, keep, uh, I mean, if you have an overflow or if you don't check in your mailbox regularly, uh, they might just put it to the side. But, uh, like I said, a size one's going to be, I believe, honestly sufficient. I, I, I do believe a size one is, is, is good enough, but if you want a bigger box, you know what, that's, that's your money. But, uh, let's go ahead and just look at these locations. And of course they're going to be sorted by whatever zip code you put in there. So it's going to be the nearest to the furthest and we're gonna go ahead and select I don't know Willow Glen let's let's look at this one so we have four available sizes size one two three and four like I said so let's go ahead and now you can see the sizes right there uh, the size one three by five five by five size two size three medium uh, five by eleven and then you have the size four which is a uh, eleven by eleven all right so we're, we're just gonna you know we're going to try to save some money and just go ahead and select the size one. And we have a couple options here. Uh, you have three months for $39, six months for $67, and we have 12 months for 134 bucks. So like I said, uh, if you're starting out, probably not, you know, I mean, probably not set up a PO box 
not until you get maybe somewhere around 10,000 subscribers or maybe more than that a lot of the mail you are gonna get it's gonna be junk mail right I, I have another video on PO boxes you guys could uh, look at that too uh, so let's go ahead and just select six months because uh, three months I believe that's probably I mean the worst of the deal if you do three plus three that's 40 that's $80 uh, I'd say probably just settle with six months uh, and then we have get one month free uh, if you select for what if you change your selection from six months to 12 months so you get one extra month uh, if you go with the uh, with the 12 months but we're just gonna go ahead and you know just keep it at six months I mean one month free uh, it's not really a, a good deal hook me up with six months hook, you know hook me up with uh, with uh, with 18 months and I'll get that 12 month deal uh, give me six free months reserve now all right so now we're on to step two to reserve our PO box we are going to be verifying the information is correct on this uh, step two Willow Glen post office yes uh, extra small PO box three by five and a half that's exactly what we went ahead and decided on we are going to be looking at a six month plan and automatic renewal that just depends on you uh, let's go ahead and just leave that on and uh, that's going to be whatever card you're going to be using at uh, at the end of this transaction that's what they're going to be charging so just keep that in mind uh, you could always you know leave this off if you wanted to whatever it doesn't matter and we're going to be doing street addressing uh, so we could accept multiple PO boxes let me go ahead and turn off my webcam so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so now we're on to additional services we're going to be uh, selecting street addressing just in case somebody sends you something uh, from UPS or FedEx those those folks they don't deliver to PO boxes so we would have to select street addressing just to make sure we get uh, we get parcels or packages from uh, from people that are that are using UPS or they're using FedEx uh, if they don't trust the post office <laughs> we saw what happened uh, not too long ago <laughs> uh, signature on file I would probably not uh, select that um, I mean, there's a chance it could lose your, your package. And if it's something uh, high in value and it requires a signature, as you can see right here, uh, $500, uh, if that's the case, uh, then, I mean, if you leave your signature on file, uh, there's a chance they might lose your package. And if they were to lose that, that package at the post office, then there's no way for you to prove that you didn't uh, receive that package because your signature was on file. So be careful with this one. I would probably just say, you know what, let's let's settle with the uh, with the street addressing and uh, leave that signature on file. Uh, I mean, and I mean, you know what, if it requires for you to go to the retail uh, to the retail counter, big deal. Just go and and uh, just sign for it. Honestly, uh, yes. So that's that's just my own recommendation. You guys can do whatever you guys want. If you guys want to leave your signature on file, that's fine. Uh, you know what, doesn't matter to me. All right, so moving on down, as we can see, we can add some extra, some additional PO Box users. Keep in mind, if you if you're signing somebody else up to your PO Box, they will have to provide ID. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind, and we're gonna be skipping that because we're not gonna add anybody. It's just gonna be us, and we're gonna be going down over here. Yes, I have read whatever policies. Of course, you have to agree to this, or else you're not gonna get it. Okay, so now we're on step three. Uh, this is the checkout of course this is where you finalize everything else uh, this is $67 you are agreeing to pay the post office 67 bucks for this PO box uh, $67 that's the six months that we signed up for and you're gonna be using one of these payment methods right here uh, you would go into review I'm not gonna do that because uh, I don't want a PO box and uh, then you just confirm everything and uh, they'll assign you a PO box there's no a special personalized uh, option on here uh, they'll just give you what's available sorry for the interruption there is some uh, there's like a helicopter outside making a whole lot of noise south side San Jose man it's not the best but uh, anyways we're gonna just finish all the information you just finish confirm verify review all the information then uh, you will be emailed uh, uh, when you signed up to your account you will be emailed to that email 
and uh, you would just print out that PO box application form or if you don't have a anyways the, the yeah the, the helicopters flying around here um, anyways once again uh, don't worry if you don't have a printer you don't have to worry about that uh, you could just go to the station where you apply for the peel box and uh, you would just go ahead and fill out that application form the one that I mentioned in my other video uh, it's not a big deal it's just bring those IDs those two forms of ID and then uh, yes finish finish the whole process at the post office and then they'll give you uh, two keys and you're pretty much set so now you have a PO box and you can use that for your business or your motor vlogging your YouTube channel or whatever uh, whatever you guys need it for so that's yeah that's pretty much it you guys uh thanks for staying <laughs> thanks for sticking around to the end of the video um, and uh, you know what just go ahead and like the video it would be much appreciated and uh, you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later <laughs>